Hi guys, it's Darren here again from Global Garage. We recently picked up a job lot on eBay of Genesis consoles that are sold as not working. So let's have a look and find out. We have picked up a job lot from eBay. Uh, it's come from the US. And what this is, is something I hope to repair. Uh, it's not Christmas lights. It is um, six mega drives. So I've got one, two, three, four Mega Drive version ones and two Mega Drive version twos. Now, well, actually, they're from America, so they're called the Genesis, but it's the same thing. Um, you can instantly see that two of them are the, are the H, HD models, high definition graphics, and the others aren't. That's cool. So, two of each, two of those, and two of the standards, and then two Mega Drive twos. That's cool. No power or anything like that, just the basic consoles. So we'll get into it, we'll do one at a time. We'll test them out and we'll see what we can do. So this one's pretty dirty. It's missing the volume slider knob, but that's all right. I've got a, I think I've got a few spares of those. So we'll go through one at a time and we'll go through each issue and see if we can fix it. All right, guys, back in a sec. Okay, so we've got the first one set up on the bench here. It's absolutely filthy. It's just dirt and junk everywhere. And to be honest, it actually smells a little bit. So this one really needs a bath. So I've plugged it in. So we've given it, I've given it power. Um, and contrary to popular belief, no, you don't need a step down transform. You don't need anything like that. You just feed it an Australian power supply with a negative tip nine to 10 volts um, and about, you know, one amp to 1.5 amps of current. That's all you need to do. Feed it the right voltage. Um, I've just plugged in a composite video connector. I hate composite video, I prefer RGB, but just for testing, we'll just run that. And I've just run it up to a, a monitor with a little audio connector and we're ready to test. So no controls, we'll just, um, we'll just get it working. So a moment of truth, um, we'll plug in a, Sonic gun. This is a power cartridge, but the good thing about these these uh, Genesis models is they can play any region, so it'll just run at 60 hertz. So let's have a look. Power's on, and there we go. It works. So do we have sound? Yes, we have sound. Oh, okay, so that works. Yeah, not the best video quality in composite especially on this computer monitor, but you know what, it's for testing, it's fine. Okay, so, first unit, which is the just a low def one. Oh, hang on a minute, I've got a crash there. Ah, that's interesting. Maybe I bumped the cartridge. Let's try that again. So it looks like the first one works, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, that crash might have been, yeah, so we're not getting anything there. Okay, that's interesting. Probably need to have a look inside. Maybe the voltage regulator's not shielded and it's getting too hot or something. Um, yeah. There we go, we're back in business there. So without bumping anything, let's see if it does the same thing. If it is the voltage regulator, we can easily put in a new one. So. Yeah, okay. Everything seems to be fine. So, that bump that I've made. Okay, everything seems fine. Didn't reboot, that was just the, the, the demo timing out and looping. I just wobble. Yeah, wobble the cartridge, it sort of locked up. Okay, so got a bit of a loose cartridge connector. That's fine. That's probably the fault. So we'll we'll get into that in a second. Okay, so I've got the second one here. Um, <clears throat> this is a high def model. Got the same connections. It's 
put in the same game and we'll see what happens this time. Okay, no light, no power. Oh, that's interesting. So we've got no LED, but we've got the game running. Okay, wow. Who would have thought? There you go. So two out of two work. Um, just got to fix this one's LED by the looks of things. Good sound. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Solar's not working, they work fine. Probably just weren't tested. Maybe the people didn't have cables or something. So, okay. Look, that one seems alright. Let's, let's test the same problem here. Let's just give it a gentle... Yeah, that one's better. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, this one's more of a solid unit, which is good. It's the better model, actually. So, LED, that's a really basic fix. We'll do that in a sec. All right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, number three. Uh, this one's also a high-def model. Just putting that power connector in, it was actually a little bit stiff, and it's actually off on an angle. So... I'm going to have to take a look at that. That connector actually might need some attention. But let's give it a go anyway. Let's put game in. Game in, we're all connected up. Moment of truth. We've got power. And we don't have video on this one. Let's just reseat the cartridge. Oh, it's actually really tight. Um, things look okay. No, we're no good there. So let's, let's try a really quick fix and put some contact cleaner on it. Okay, so what we've got is some contact cleaner. Um, the trick, you can, this stuff is great. It's, it's like isopropyl alcohol. So we'll just spray some down the, con down the slot there and we'll just see if we can get the game to fire up. Let's just put the camera down for a sec while I do this. It's, it looks a bit harsh, but Trust me, it's actually quite safe. It evaporates rapidly. So before it completely evaporates, I like to put it in a little bit wet um, and give that another quick shot. So let's power him on again. Look at LED. And there you go. So that fixed it. Okay, so it's just dirty, that one. That one's off and running. Yep. Next, we'll just roll the cartridge. Yeah, so, okay, let's pedal it off. This one's definitely got a dirty connector. Uh, maybe the pens need to be realigned, just bent a little bit, but it's not too bad. It works, just another cartridge slot problem. So we'll open that up and get onto that one as well. Okay, number four. So it's a, it's a low def model, it's pretty dirty. Looks like it's got a um, paint mark all over it, so little spots of white paint, so I'll have to clean that off. Um, put the card in. I've given it power. And we've got an LED, and we have we have it working. I've got sound. So that one's working as well. So we've had a really good hit right here. Okay, yeah, the lo slightly loose connector on that one. It does work, but I like to get that working. Um, I haven't tested, you know, the reset circuits or anything either yet. So once we get further into them, we'll, I'll test that. But so far, so good on this one. So that goes down as a dirty slash loose cart slot as well. Okay, number five. So this is a Mega Drive Two or Genesis Two, as the as the Americans call it. Um, same deal, same game. Uh, now it's got slightly different power. I'll just use a power adapter for this. So that it's a Mega Drive power adapter, but a little uh, plug adapter and polarity switcher. That's what that is, and a different video output cable, but still composite video. So let's have a look. Okay, we're getting nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, so this one, 
might need a bit more attention. Okay, back in a second. Okay, back with a different power supply. I just thought I'd swap that out just to make sure. Um, it's definitely all plugged in. Um, we've still got no action though, so no action at all. So no lights, no activity. So okay, we might have our first genuine dead one. Um, we'll open this one up and we'll check the voltage regulator. We'll check this switch, the power switch circuit. It could just be the switch. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll start with the basics on that. This one, and see what we can do. So let me come back in a sec. Okay, number six, the lucky last. This is another Mega Drive 2, Genesis 2. Um, same power as the last console, same cable as the last console, um, same game. So this will tell us if the power adapter was the, at fault with the last one or not. So okay, we've got power. Um, let's turn that screen around. Yeah, I've got no picture at the moment. Let's, uh, just reseat this. It just seems quite stiff there, so let's try that again. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, cartridge slot problem. Now we've got audio. Okay, so that seems good. So you know what? Five out of six booted up straight away. Um, number five was dodgy so but this one's pretty good yeah so they've all got they've all got cart slot problems just um too much movement over the years probably dry, dry solve joint probably bent pins dirty pins whatever so let's get into that one <laughs> 